Hi Rahul, uh, uh, firstly I want to talk, uh, want to know about your mentality uh, before preparing for a mega series like that. You were, you were supposed to play as a middle order, but what, what mental which you had to make when, made when you suddenly got to know that you would be opening and perhaps continue to open now? Um, I got told quite early. Um, I mean, I didn't. I missed out in the New Zealand series. I didn't play the last two games, so um, I was told to be be ready. There might be a chance uh, for me to open the batting. So I got a got enough time to prepare. And opening is something that I've done uh, for a long time in my career. So um, I just had to go back and and practice it a little bit more. And um, yeah. And, like I said, I batted a lot in the top of the order, so I know how I need to um, get my runs and what processes I need to follow. Um, and I got enough practice time. I came here early. I played an India A game, which helped me um, uh, to get some time in the middle. We played a few practice games as well, so I got a lot of time in the middle. So it was good. It helped me in my uh, preparation. And as a comfortable, uh, comfortable wise, comfort wise, what do you prefer now that you are a senior, senior batter in the team, middle order slot or an opener? Anything I've said this before. I just want to be in the playing eleven. Uh, pick me in the eleven. Um, just want to go there, back and play for the team. Yeah, Crown uh, you batted six in uh, South Africa. You the hundred, but you batted four, and then you went back to six. Now you have two. So, just in terms of the mindsets, I know you said you opened a lot. You, 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 what kind of changes do you have to make? What technically are in terms of how you approach changes? I don't know honestly. I, have, I don't have a. Um, answer to that. I mean, I just go there, try and see what I need to do in, in that given scenario and uh, whenever I walk in, what is it that the team requires, what is it that I need to do to get runs from there on. Um, and yeah, try and keep my game as simple as I can. Um, yeah, luckily for me, I batted in different positions. So um, early on, when I was asked to bat in different places, it was it was a bit of a challenge um, mentally and uh, not so much technique, but at least mentally how to how to get how to play those first 20, 25 balls? What um, what shots I can play? How how early can I um, attack? How much do I need to um, you know? Uh, how how much I need to be cautious? So those were the things that was a bit tricky early on. But uh, now that I've played um, in in ODIs in in Test cricket all over the place, so it's just given me a little bit of an idea as to how I need to manage my manage my innings and how I need to start. Um, and I feel like it's, it's just the start that's important whether I'm batting top of the order or uh, in the middle order is just the start, the first 30-40 balls, if I can manage that then everything else um, starts to seem like it's regular batting. So that's what I try to focus on. Yes, Sandeep. Yeah. Rahul, everyone is talking about pink ball test match, especially batting under lights. Uh, Everyone is saying that it does a lot on the lights. You have batted briefly in Canberra. So how do you, how are you preparing for this, uh, you know, challenge? Yeah, this is, this would be my first pink ball uh, test match. Um, so I don't have game experience um, as much as some of the other players who've played. Um, so for us, it's just about speaking to the guys who've played and trying to understand what were the, uh, what were the things that they found hard or what was, um, how did they manage to, if there were any changes that they made. Um, in whatever little we've trained and played the practice game, I felt like it was just a little different uh, to um, to the red ball in terms of how you how well you see the ball and how well you pick up the ball from the bowler's hand. That's been a bit of a challenge, but uh, yeah, so we've, we've got a bit of time. We've been training hard, and uh, hopefully by the time the game um, starts, we would have had enough practice sessions and we will get used to what the pink ball does. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. Bhutto, Hi, Rahul. You've opened the batting in a lot of um, tough places, especially fast bowling, friendly pitches and stuff, and you've had a lot of success. Um, how how do you um, how how do you work on that? Because it looks like you um, put a lot of effort into the ball. From you opened that was there ten years ago now. How would you say you have the ball? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying I don't have all these thoughts. I do. I do still have all of these thoughts, but I. I Having been there, you know what you need to do to get past that or get over those doubts and get over those um, thoughts you have in your head. And um, yeah, so whatever I told Jaswal is what I practiced. So I just told him the same thing. Okay, well, uh, the way that you dominated Australia in the first test, how much confidence does that give the team? And do you feel like you have a mental edge over them going into this match? 
yeah, um, really, really happy with the way we played, and it does give you a lot of confidence when you travel to Australia and and um, win the first game and win the win it in a way that we did in in, in Perth, especially in Perth. I mean, so much being spoken about Perth being the fastest wicket in in Australia, and and teams that travel here have really struggled there. So um, yes, we have taken a lot of confidence from that. Um, but yeah, Perth is back in Perth. We we try and move on. It's a different uh, different place, different condition. Big ball is going to be different. Um, yeah, so take the confidence from that game and, and really um, use that in this in this game and try and um, you know, one thing that's been spoken a lot in the dressing room is to win sessions and not really worry about winning winning the whole game or talking about what happens on day four or day five. It's just about winning each session. So yeah, we're trying to do that again and. Rahul, uh, we've been told where you're going to back in this test, and would it be that your choice? Ever? I've been told, but uh, I've also been told not to share it. We'll <laughs> 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 have to wait for day one, or maybe uh, uh, when the captain comes here tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, the digression. I mean, uh, back home at the Sunshine Stadium, the proposal to name the stands after many legends, uh, you've grown up idolizing. And is there a secret hope that one day your name will come up on the stands? Yeah, I mean, everyone wishes for it, but yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll have to get as many runs as um, the people that have their names on the stands. So if I can do that, then yeah, then maybe. But I don't, I don't really. Um, uh, and how do you react to the development? This 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 development. Yeah, I think it's 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 too soon. I haven't reached. That. No, no, not about you. About the proposal to name the stands after the legends. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's I mean, just respecting what uh, um, the players have done uh, for that state and for the country. And yeah, I'm sure for everybody, it's a huge honor when you see your name, uh, a stand being named after you. So yeah, it'd be lovely for anybody. Uh, you guys got to prepare with a lot of, uh, I guess, privacy at Perth, the, the training sessions and all of that. Last night, big crowd at training. Like, what was that like as an experience? And and, uh, and I suppose, I guess the wider, the, I guess there's a tradition of, of spectators coming to watch training with Trent. Yeah, very different. Um, I feel, I mean, we have practice, but with crowds, but it's mostly T20s and and ODIs back home. We've had crowds coming and uh, watch our practice sessions. So. Um, yeah, it felt a little different, but um, um, yeah, also adds to your preparation for the test match and give us a little bit of what we we can expect on on day one or all the days here in Adelaide. So it was good. Um, as Rahul mentioned a few times, like what you learned from ten years. Does it feel like it's been ten years since you made your test debut here? I mean, I think you're clean shaven and you're still <laughs> soft spoken, but uh, how much has changed? Um, in you, in, in your life, I mean, not about the batting, but just you, the person. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 10 years ago, like I said, I was, I was my first test series and, and uh, watched India Australia series growing up on TV, waking up at 5 in the morning, watching the games with my father. So it was a, um, it was a bit surreal to be here at that moment. And um, yeah, so you, yeah, there's a lot more lot more going on in my head at that time and um, uh, I, I honestly feel like I wasn't really sure about, as sure as I am today, I wasn't back then 10 years ago about, about batting and what I need to do about how to get in practice and never been a person who is different to the um, No, the, these few days have only been about Understanding how the how the ball reacts and uh, how easy or hard it is uh, to play against the pink ball. Um, if you look at all the games that have been played with the pink ball, it hasn't really lasted uh, a long time. So that tells you that, you know, that there will be a lot of help for the fast bowlers and there will be a lot of seam. <coughs> um, that's something that we faced even in the nets. Um, but you know, that that happened even in Perth on on day one. There was a lot of seam movement, and I'm sure. It's, that would be the same, but it was just a bit different to pick up the pink ball off the hand, and um, was wasn't as easy as facing up against a white or a red ball. Uh, so yeah, that's something that we'll have to get over and get used to. Yeah, just to follow up with that again, uh, like you mentioned, this could be your first pink ball test, and a lot of others who've not played India has not played a lot of pink ball cricket. So if you could just elaborate a little bit more on the cues that you maybe get, especially the twilight period. I know you've got a few more sessions coming. 
not just from a batter's point of view, but also from the slip Gordon's point of view. You know, with the extra ladder, how does the ball feel that they have a tendency to pop out? So just some more of the cues that the team's talking about in the preparation of the test. Yeah, the, the ball seems a bit more bit more harder than, than the red ball it, while fielding as well. You can feel it uh, hitting your hand a lot, a uh, lot quicker and a lot harder. Uh, same with, with batting, it just seems to you know, get to you much quicker than the red ball. Um, does seem around a little bit more than the red ball. So yeah, that's that's the challenge we're looking forward to. And um, like you said, for me, it's exciting because it's my first first big ball game. So I'm going in with a clean slate and, and um, I'll go there and see what really happens and, and try and um, face up to whatever comes my way. Is there anything different to practice? Like maybe just a lot more facing a lot many more bowlers than yeah. just the side up? Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever whatever the players prefer is just about, like I said, picking the ball off off uh, off the hand has been a bit bit tricky for some of the boys. Um, so whether it's facing up against bowlers or facing up against throwdowns or just someone throwing balls at you, it's just getting used to seeing the ball off of someone's hand and just getting used to that. Um, and I feel like that's that's step one of a batter. If you can pick that, then you're give yourself the best chance to react and be in good position. So yeah, that's been something that all batters have been speaking about and try and, trying to um, play a lot more balls so that you get used to it. And this will be the final one. Yes. So yeah, you have a habit of tattoos and you get it picked up from many countries. I don't know whether you've done it the first time you came in Australia. But I did. You did? Okay. What Second was, time as well. Oh, okay. So what, does, uh, what are you going to do? Have you deserved the tattoo here yeah. or stopped after marriage? No, no, no. <laughs> um, I have it scheduled for after the last test in Sydney. So, so you have identified when you... It's personal, that's personal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.